From the Home Slice News Center, this is the Daily Slice for Thursday, February 15th, 2024. I'm D. Ray Knight. This is what's going on. Rapid City Police say a man wanted in connection with a 2022 shooting death has been apprehended in Indiana. 53-year-old Gregory Landers was taken into custody by the U.S. Marshal Service in Decatur, Indiana, yesterday. A Bainton County grand jury indicted Landers on charges of first-degree manslaughter in connection with the death of 30-year-old A.C. Morrison. The incident occurred on August 21, 2022 at Landers' residence on Country Road in Rapid City. The indictment also includes charges of unauthorized ingestion of a controlled drug or substance and the possession of a firearm by an individual with a prior drug conviction, all stemming from the same event. Jason Roundsburg wants to keep his law license. Amy Rose has the story. Former South Dakota Attorney General Jason Roundsburg is urging the state Supreme Court to dismiss an effort to suspend his law license. Roundsburg argued that he took responsibility and acted professionally following a deadly accident with a pedestrian during a hearing Wednesday. The accident precipitated his political downfall. Roundsburg had been impeached and removed as attorney general less than two years after the 2020 accident. 55-year-old Joe Bover had been walking along a rural stretch of highway when he was fatally struck. A disciplinary board of the South Dakota State Bar is seeking a 26-month suspension of Roundsburg's law license. The suspension would be retroactive to when he left office in June of 2022 and would end in August. In news from the nation and the world. Israeli forces have stormed the main hospital in southern Gaza in what the army says is a limited operation seeking the remains of hostages taken by Hamas. Thursday's raid came a day after the army sought to evacuate thousands of displaced people who had taken shelter at the Nasser Hospital in Khan Yunus. The southern city has been the main target of Israel's offensive against Hamas in recent weeks. Separately, Israeli airstrikes on Wednesday killed at least 10 civilians in southern Lebanon just hours after a rocket attack killed an Israeli soldier. Negotiations over a ceasefire in Gaza appear to have stalled, and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has vowed to continue the offensive until Hamas is destroyed. Amy Rose has the latest on the shooting at the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl parade. Amy. The Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl celebration has become the latest backdrop for a mass shooting as gunfire sent fans scrambling to cover and left 21 people wounded and one woman dead. At least eight children are among those who were shot. Wednesday shooting outside the city's historic Union Station happened despite the presence of more than 800 police officers on hand for the parade. Police say three people were taken into custody and firearms were recovered. But no details have been given about those who were detained or possible motive. The woman killed in the shooting was identified by radio station KKFL as Lisa Lopez Galvin, host of Taste of Tejano. Donald Trump is expected to be back in a New York courtroom for a hearing that could decide whether the former president's first criminal trial begins in late March. Today's hearing is being held in the same Manhattan courtroom where Trump pleaded not guilty last April to 34 counts of falsifying business records. Prosecutors say the Republicans' company kept fraudulent records as part of a scheme to bury stories about extramarital affairs that Trump says were false. Trump's lawyers say the criminal case is politically motivated and marred by legal defects. Your weather forecast from the Home Slice Weather Center. Cloudy and snowy today with a 1 to 3 inch accumulation possible and a high of 25. Low tonight, 11. And that was your Daily Slice for Thursday, February 15th, 2024. The Daily Slice is a production of Home Slice Media Group, hosted by D. Ray Knight with Amy Rose. Executive producer Mark Houston, engineered by Chris Jaquess. I'm D. Ray Knight. Have a great day.